It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Steel City at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ready to get us started, it's Kane York. And with the terrible towels waving wildly, we are underway from Pittsburgh. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. But that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Pick it. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Pick it, finding Johnson there, first down, Steelers. The screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. the offense backwards a bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Harris running straight ahead. The tackle there by John Johnson. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Pickett sets up play action. This is caught at the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us for their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly And in for the steal. Touchdown! Kenny Pickett finding a pack fire move. And the Steelers are on the board first here this afternoon. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Well now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on rips like those. They were not being moved up the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. They go with Chubb on second down. It's a five-yard pickup that time on what will wind up being the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven-nothing, EA Sports. Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Now he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Here we go on fourth. Watson got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he's going to pick up the Browns first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And a solid run down inside the 30. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Again, running right is Chubb. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 49 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. They run it again with Chubb. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Call it a gain of 4 on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive.
Extra point by York is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Looking to throw, pick it. He's going to let it go again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. There we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And it is incomplete. I had a defender running right with him, and now it's third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Back to throw, pick it. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and it's going to go down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts, as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now pick it on fourth down. Has it covered? It's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And he takes this one back into the end zone.